So apart from all the physical stuff, I want to get you a little bit deeper into the menu systems today. I want to show off a couple of really cool features about this camera. And we're going to start with white balance. All right? um, one of the most important things to getting your colors right is, is getting a correct white balance. And the EX3, excuse me, the PMW350 has a ton of customizable white balance features. So um, my viewers, if I can direct your attention to the board here. Virg, can we get the menu system up on the? Uh, Thank you very much. There are so many features of this camera, and I promise you we're not going to go through all of them. Uh, just some of the most important ones. The first one you're going to know uh, about is that there are so many assignable buttons here. It's going to be important to, to get the most out of it. You're going to want to spend a little time personalizing your assignable buttons so that you can get to these features quickly. So uh, on the top of the handle right here is uh, button four and five. It's got seven assignable buttons. I have set button number five to be, my, uh, to be my white balance button. So when I click the number five button, you notice I can shift through my, my white balances, 43, 56, 63, and back to 32. So at the touch of a button, I've got all of those pre... <laughs> Welcome to the Dot Studio train. Uh, it, it must mean we're right on time. We're going to give it a second to pass, and then we're going to get right back on, the, on with the show. <laughs> So uh, in the menu system, I have assigned button number five to be my, my color correction button. It allows me to scroll through my available white balances. We're going to do that one more time. You notice that uh, Jose is getting a little hotter and a little hotter here, and then right back to 3200. Cools him off a little bit. I like that. <laughs> there are two places in the menu to uh, get the, the, the second part of the white balance really working with you, and that's combining your white balance with the ND filters. So the camera has a four position ND filter here. Uh, right now, if I switch my ND filters, it's just going to get darker and darker and darker. But you notice my color temperature stays the same at 3200. All right? So the, uh, there are two places in the menu that we get to manipulate that. So the first place is in the operation function. So I'm going to go into operation, going into white setting. And on the bottom here, it says filter white memory. I'm going to turn that on. What filter white memory does is allows me to assign my memory white balance uh, position with my ND filter. So for instance, if I'm inside, I'm going to be on white balance number one, which is clear, and 3200 uh, color temperature, which is basically tungsten light. But uh, let's say I want to grab myself a different white balance. It would be most effective if we go outside in the sunlight and perform an automatic white balance, but uh, you'll just have to bear with me. We're in a studio. We can't really get that done at the moment. But, so I'm doing my automatic white balance, and now it's 30, 30,000 degrees Kelvin. 3,000 degrees Kelvin. All right. So because we've activated that setting, when I change to ND filter number two, for instance, I'm stepping outside, you'll notice my color temperature. My color temperature went back to the 3200 balance that we got before. All right? So the, the value of this is you're inside, you're not using your NDs, you're on clear, you get a white balance for tungsten light. You go outside, change your filter to add an ND to reduce the amount of sunlight sort of blowing out your, your image. You get a new white balance of, say, 56, daylight. All right? When you come back inside, when you turn your ND filter back to clear, your white balance goes back to the white balance memory at the ND filter. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, I think it's awesome. You guys will come around eventually, I promise. <laughs> All right, so that's one cool place that we can assign our white balance settings to uh, change with our ND settings. There's one other place to do it, and that's in the maintenance menu. And um, it's just a slightly different operation. Check this out. When I go into the maintenance menu, In my white filter, you can see I can assign a preset so I don't have to do an automatic white balance inside and an automatic white balance outside. I can assign a preset color temperature. 32 makes the most sense. If you're indoors, your number one ND filter is clear, 3200 degrees Kelvin. 
indoors, number one. Then for settings two, three, and four, basically you've stepped outside and you've got to apply ND filter to compensate for the sunlight. You can manually adjust what that color temperature will be. So you can come in here and say, mm, I want it to be 5600 because when I go outside, I apply ND, it's going to be daylight. Now, rather than having to do an automatic white balance when you're outside, you can have the camera preset to those positions. That's pretty cool. Now, you'll remember earlier I mentioned I used my assignable button number five to scroll through these color temperatures. Um, here, I can actually change what those values are. So we used first 32, 43, 56, and 63. But if I wanted to change that slightly, I could affect it here so that um, as I scrolled through those settings, it could be something different. Maybe I'm going to use only 43 and 56. So if that were the case, I'd come down to my 63 and change it to nothing. I don't want anything. I only want 32, 43, and 56 when I'm scrolling through that assignable button. All right, white balance, important but not that exciting.